And now, your first alert weather. All right, great start to the weekend here. Yeah, it's sunny and nice for St. Patrick's Day. We got 39 degrees right now as we take a live look here at the Pocatello Farm Bureau Sky Cam. Uh, not a cloud in the sky with winds currently out of the northeast at 11 miles an hour. We got a light breeze as you get around Pocatello and areas along I-86 out to the west towards Burley and Rupert. Got 29 degrees currently in Idaho Falls with light winds out of the north at 8 miles an hour. That takes your wind chill down to 21. Temperatures below average today. Yeah, it's you know, pretty chilly when you step outside. And you got numbers still below freezing and still some snow on the ground. 32 right now in Rexburg. Winds currently out of the southwest at 7 miles per hour. That's taking your wind chill down to 26 at the airport there in Rexburg. And we're seeing similar conditions also in our foothills and mountains, but it's dry, it's sunny across the region. In fact, I zoomed out first alert Viper radar just to show you we really don't have any threats for wet weather in the immediate future. And it's looking pretty nice here for tomorrow and as we get through much of the weekend. We have the cool sunny weather still in play here for Saturday as high pressure currently over Nevada, keeping things rather stagnant. Not a whole lot of changing here for tomorrow, but you have some clouds just starting to get in along the west coast and then down the road we expect to pick up on some storminess. Tomorrow morning, very cold. We've got temperatures still at around zero to the single digit range early tomorrow morning. Then we're going to be into the upper 20s around lunch for Idaho Falls and we should by the early afternoon, get above that freezing mark. And about 4 o'clock, we'll be hanging out at about 35 degrees. Then we pick up on some clouds for Sunday. And then by Monday and Tuesday, this is what we have to deal with. More of that atmospheric river you've heard so much about, or sometimes called the Pineapple Express. But generally, what we get is the subtropical push of moisture coming along the jet stream. And that's what's happening here for much of next week. We can start to see some of those storm clouds coming in late Sunday night, around 11 o'clock, towards Boise and Twin Falls. And then Monday morning, into Monday afternoon. We have scattered snow and rain on the move and we will continue to see scattered hits of wet weather for Tuesday and Wednesday with the winds also picking up well into the middle of next week. So again, for the next couple of days, not bad at all. But then we pick up on that shower threat beginning on Monday and that's going to take us all the way into the work week. Temperatures here at 38 for McCam and 37 in Malad. We got 36 in Lava and 30 for Soda Springs. We should get to about 36 for St. Anthony and Ashton tomorrow and the same for Rexburg after a low of nine tonight, zero tonight in Jackson with a low of four tonight in Island Park. Jackson's eight day forecast highs just shy of 40 moving into Sunday and Monday. Now the winds are going to pick back up for Tuesday and Wednesday with scattered snow all the way through next week. In fact, it looks like we're going to see snow off and on every day for that next week. Rexburg highs around 36 for tomorrow, 39 for Sunday with mostly cloudy skies rolling back in here and the wet weather on the way for Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Now over to central Idaho we go with 29 for Mackey, 35 for Charles. We should get all the way back up to 40 for Salmon tomorrow with 39 in Stanley. Salmon's eight day forecast in the 40s for highs Sunday and Monday with lows still getting below freezing at night into the teens and 20s. And then we're picking up on the wet weather threats beginning Monday and off and on shower threats for Tuesday and Wednesday with a rain snow mix. In the Snake River Plain, I got you at one below for INL tonight, about 20 for Burley. So as you get to the Magic Valley, you see the temperatures uh, leap up there with the overnight lows. We'll be about nine tonight in Idaho Falls with a high of 36 for tomorrow and 44 for Pocatello. Blackfoot's eight day forecast, 43 for the high Sunday and Monday. A beautiful weather here for tomorrow. We have mostly cloudy skies on Sunday, but still fairly quiet weather for the back half of the weekend. Then we're working in the wet weather for Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday with the winds increasing as well. Pocatello's eight day forecast. We're going to be just shy of 50 degrees for Sunday afternoon. Clouds roll in Sunday afternoon and we see the shower threat picking up Monday and Tuesday. Idaho Falls, a similar rise in temps with numbers here in the low 40s for Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. And again, we're going to pick up on some clouds for Sunday, but it's still going to be fairly quiet this weekend, even for Sunday with the clouds moving on in. Temperatures warming up nicely, overnight lows back into the 20s and then picking up on the wet weather starting Monday morning. Todd, it is the entire spring break. Wow. When we come back, Denver is now the home to what the Girl Scouts say is the future of the program.